Frankly, it is the best form of motorsports. All right, you guys, so we're in the shop. There's some beautiful new carts here, and they yeah. can bump you in the back all they want. They just make you go faster. Exactly. I just put a bullseye on my back, didn't I? <laughs> you definitely did. <laughs> I What's up, people? Today we are in Indianapolis, Indiana, or more specifically, Indy, the home of American racing, I think. And today, I'm gonna get a brand new racing cart from Top Cart. All right, you guys, so I am very excited about this. And a lot of you that have followed my channel know, of course, I'm doing huge motorsports builds and things like that but have done videos relating to kart racing because frankly, it is the best form of motorsports. It's the closest, it's the most athletic, it's the most exciting. So whether you're into watching sports car racing or NASCAR racing or Formula One, it's fun. But not just that, it's a great place to start racing because one, it's the most affordable motorsports too. But for guys that are practicing for high end stuff or even older people, you can do it. And it's fun for kids and parents alike. And I'm hoping that some of you go kart racing this year as well. And I get to see you out there. So let's go. All right, you guys, so we're in the shop. There's some beautiful new carts here, but I want to introduce you to Blake Deister. What's up, man? How are you, sir? Doing I'm, all right? I'm really well. And I'm insanely excited because frankly, this cart is nicer than any cart I had in the past. And frankly, I just enjoy meeting you and coming to your shop and checking it out. Appreciate having you, Casey. Thanks. So how long has Top Cart USA been here? How long have you been doing this? We've been in this building for since 2012, or early 2013. Um, we've been in the business of karting, geez, for 25 plus years now. So. Very cool. Long time, yeah. Yeah, and you and I were just talking about how in the past you've seen kids go all the way from kids and karting like this all the way to top rungs of motorsports and stuff. Yeah, over the years we've worked with tons of kids um, and a handful of them went from when we, they started with us and uh, back when they were, you know, five, six, seven, eight years old and now they're up and running IndyCar and that is super cool. You know, everything everything under the sun and the top levels of motorsports. So well, very cool. It's exciting I, to see. Oh, indeed. And I can tell your family's way into it. I saw the collection of older go-karts. I think your yeah. dad was in the restoring and stuff. So that was oh, neat yeah. to see. And you guys even have a couple of carts. One is electric for a high school level series that kind of goes through Purdue University. And you guys are developing some sort of really awesome electric cart for collegiate series. That's right. So we are, we have been for the last three or four years partnering with Purdue University and high schools getting STEM program, um, all the STEM programs such as like high schools have robotics and other things, but this is yet another platform that they can pick and choose from for those educational programs. And it's way more cool. You know, they're loving it. It gets oh, yeah. students more excited and involved in learning. So right. it, uh, everything about it is, is, is great Definitely. for them, Adva advantageous for them to get involved with, so. Oh yeah, and from my experience doing Genius Grads with college students and then what places they want, they look for in candidates to hire, one of the laments they have is these engineers and such go to school, but they don't have the hands-on experience. Right. Or Which, they don't know how to like test things and seat time. Exactly. So I think this is great for that. Yeah, it definitely gives them some kind of real world experience, not only from the hands-on thing, but there's other students, as I mentioned before, like business or creative students to go out and network with other yeah. businesses for sponsorship and things like that. So it gets pretty much an all hands-on oh, deck type of thing and different aspects of what students A, want to potentially do you know, with their career, yeah. right? So it, it gives them just a better experience before, you know, getting to college. So they already have at least a head, a head start in that. Cool, well, I dig it. Okay, so I'm being totally distracted by my new cart, yes. There we go. So, okay, what is this model? And I know this one is usable for the four cycle LO206 engine, which is more of an entry level, all the way up to some really nasty two strokes. So yeah. what is this cart model yeah. here? This, uh, this is the new SR30.2 model. Um, so equipped with a 50 mil axle, uh, nice steering wheel, magnesium components. Oh yeah. Mag wheels, mag hubs, mag rear hubs. Um, yeah, nice uh, accented anodized black um, pedals. Oh, yeah. You know, and all the other componentry and tie rods, things like that. So I dig um, it. Can I, I gotta geek out on this for a second? I yeah. gotta, okay, so you guys, I gotta tell you this. Okay, so you guys have seen the carts I've done and things in the past, but come here and look at this closely. Like, look how nice the machining is for like heel rests and pedals and stoppers and you know the, the bars for adjusting your chassis stiffness. Bead locks on the mag wheels. Are you kidding me? I mean, look at this axle and the gorgeous machining to hold the sprocket and this brake is massive i mean it's frankly overkill for the l206 class but it's going to last forever full floating rotor and calipers and for gavin 
for your cart, you can't bleed the caliper on. Look how nice this is to bleed. Like, I'm just getting excited because these components are genuinely awesome, man. So should we should we put some bodywork on this? Yeah, we can finish it up here and uh, get you get you sorted out. With cool. The Driving race cars is fun, but it's difficult to source unobtaining parts and get the right engineering expertise. Since 1975, Taylor Race Engineering down in Texas has done just that. So whether you're looking for dog rings and straight cut gears for your road racing car, or you are on a college Formula SAE team and you guys need a chain drive differential and trapeze, this is the place you gotta call guys, or go to the internet at taylor-race.com. You can see a link in the description below. So, will these wheels this width work for L206 size tires too? Exactly. Okay, cool. Yeah. So you got the versatility there as well. And then if I'm not mistaken, so there's three bearings back here. And then for an L206, which is a little lower horsepower, you simply remove this bearing so the chassis can flex more and undulate? Exactly, yep. Yeah, it just reduces less weight, drag, and yeah, you don't, you don't need it for, uh, such as like the higher horsepower to give you a little more grip. Right. So. Got it, got it. And then the uh, the rear impact bumper and such right here, yep, that'll end up bolting bumper. on right here. Exactly right. Nice, that's nice. Well, the other thing I like about this too is how well developed this is so that you can race hard and tight, but also you're gonna be less likely tangling wheels and stuff and exactly. going over, yep. which is always nice. So- A lot more safe than they used to be back in the day. Yeah, for sure. So, okay, so this is basically a brand new cart. Okay, we got no tires on here, we got no motor. And this would be as somebody would buy one of these chassis. Yeah, this is known as a roller. So obviously it comes with a seat, it's just not in it. Um, but this would be what's known to be a roller. So then at this point, um, obviously we can sell a full package. So with a 206, with a KA or VLR 100cc, mm -hmm. if that's the route you want to go on the, on the kind of entry level two stroke sure. way or, you know, X30. And then we have, um, shifter models as well, which is a totally different go-kart, but nonetheless, uh, entry level, it would be normally the 206 or okay. the hundred CC class. That's pretty much the largest growing classes. Um, at this current moment in time. Nice, and that's why I love the chassis is because it's so versatile. So for instance, if you're a young person, what is like an age where like the youngest driver that would come into an adult chassis all the way up? Yep, so age 12 wow. is pretty much the cutoff from Cadet, which is this model here. Okay, let's look at that real quick. So so a Cadet cart is for what kind of age groups or what sizes? So this would be age seven to 12. So okay. seven is the cutoff from kid cart to cadet, which this is known as a cadet or a mini yeah. cart. And then seven to 12, which is basically, um, or 12, 12 to 15 would be, you know, the junior, which is okay. when they're in, in that. And then, uh, and then senior is basically 15 and up. Got it. And then when you get to, you know, plus 32 then they have the masters and go a little heavier kinda, or something yeah so you know so that way it's not a, you know, a bunch of 32 35 40 50 year olds you know because you can race right. all the way up all the way up through so to give you know the 50 year old is not going to compete with a 15 year old yeah maybe so, not yeah yeah, yeah. most likely they're going to get a little more winded age and treachery quicker. yeah yeah, just, yeah i see your point so, yeah um so they create those classes so then they too can have their own competitive race Super against cool. the older guys and then against the younger guys. But, All right. So, I mean, that's awesome too, because then this is the opportunity for like a father, son or mother, daughter or whatever. Exactly. Yeah. Lots of times we get, you know, initially uh, a parent will come in and look at getting carts for their kids. And then sometimes even the wives are like, well, we should get involved too. Yeah. So then you get the whole family on board with, um, initially the kids start now and then the whole family starts racing so it's they all going to be at the track anyway so why not yeah just everybody do it That's super so. nice i mean frankly they're pretty um awesome man so always pretty when the brand what is. kind of price point for a new roller for yeah. that so a new one. roller so these are coming in at uh, 30.95 so okay. we're right under 3100 bucks okay um again as is comes with a seat so you don't see in the picture here but it does have a seat so okay. then at that and they're, point they're nice seats yeah, yeah, yep. So nice fiberglass, uh, soft seats. So, um, and then from there, depending on a where you're at in the country, and you know, just sheer what class you want to get into, whether yeah. like I said, the 206 or um, for this would be the 60 cc kind of push button start, mm -hmm. uh, similar to the 100 cc and the full size card stuff. But um, then we can build the package from there. So then you add which motor do you want, and then uh, the data system as well. So, right, right. Um, 
those are kind of the add-on bits and then what tires you know depending on where you run in the country right. also what tire brand you run so there's there's a couple variables um that are necessary for sure. figuring out what's the best package for where you're going to be running, indeed so. and then so for this chassis when you come in adult what uh, what price point are we hitting right here for a brand new one? yep so this brand new package is 47.95 okay so um again just under 4800 bucks and then ad additionally uh pick your motor pick your you know tire data system yeah. those kind of basic things uh that that you end up needing um just depending on what and where you're going to be racing definitely determines that so well awesome man i can't tell you how excited i am so obviously you guys know i'm up in northwest ohio so we racing around there maybe come out to whiteland yep. fremont raceway park i hope all of you if you're into karting you come back out come race even if you're not in the same class i hope to see you out there maybe we'll start like a posse yeah. obviously blake is the man here in indianapolis top cart i adore this cart um, I can't wait to be running it. So you guys are going to see coming up. Obviously, I've got to mount my engine package. I got to get tires on. I got to get it set up. I got to get the seat set up, weight and balance and all that jazz. Get out to the track, test and race. So I don't know how you think I'm going to do, man. I think uh, I think give us some track days and you'll be running up front. Hopefully, I think so. Well, well, we'll that's where I like to, it. Happy to support you out there. And, well, uh, when you're out front, you don't scuff up your body work as much, <laughs> and they can yeah. bump you in the back all they want and just make you go faster. Exactly. I just put a bullseye on my back, didn't I? <laughs> you definitely did. <laughs> I got a lot of those. That's okay. Well, anyway, man, thank you very much. You're very welcome. I look forward to yep. catch you later. You as well. Thanks. Huge shout out to KW Suspension. Guys, this year you're gonna see beautiful coilovers such as this going on many of my cars, including my Porsche 944, my Dodge Viper, and even some of these crazy race cars. And the reason is simple. This is one of the best shock companies in the world. It was founded in Germany in 1992 by Klaus Wolfarth, and recently they just launched a new 1.2 million square foot robotic warehouse where they're creating unbelievably nice suspension components such as this for 15 different original equipment manufacturers. So whether you're a street enthusiast, a weekend track warrior, or you are building the Le Mans car your dreams, guys, check out KW Suspension. Unbelievably nice shock. So go down in the description below, patronize them. You're gonna be glad you did.